All right, so we got the juvenile or fledgling bald eagle on camera. Yes, we do. And I'm just about to zoom in on them all the way. And that is a very good spot that he's in right there. You really can't get any better than that. Trust me on that one. So he's right above the nest there. So you can see where the nest is, okay? Yep, see that? Yep, right above, right above the nest. So he feels very safe right there. see can we go there so it's very hot outside as you can tell by the way this bald eaglet is opening his beak there that's his way of panting yeah so that's how they keep cool when it's very hot outside and let me tell you it is really hot outside it is a whopping 98 degrees and with the heat index it actually feels even hotter than that yes it's actually like feels like 102 so it is currently six something right now I didn't get the exact time right now but I do have a clock on my phone and just gotta gotta get a better spot there okay 639 so I'll record this bald eaglet for about 15 minutes and then I'll be on my way. Very, very nice right there. Can't really get any better than that, although if those tree limbs weren't in the way, it would be even better. But this is probably as good as I'm gonna get. Yeah, the, the focus capabilities aren't really that great unless I'm, I've got good sunlight. Because the sunlight is really what affects the overall quality of the video. So yeah, so he's just relaxing in this hot summer day. You probably couldn't really imagine how these birds survive on it's such scorching hot temperatures. But believe me, they do. And eagles fly, eagles thrive exceptionally well compared to other raptors. I mean, it's the only bird of prey that I, can, I know of that has a 50% survival rate in its first year. And usually it it's ends up, well, what, what ends up happening is there could be a few things. And, but usually they would happen during migration. Um, attacks on bald eagles are very rare. I mean, not even an owl would want to try to attack a full-grown bald eagle. No way. But yeah, I mean, they're 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 very capable, and I'm glad to be able to film them. So as you can see, he's kind of turning his head up a lot. Looking around. Mostly looking back there. Reason why he's looking back there a lot more than he's looking over here is because that's the area in which he's been hunting. So yeah, he's learned to hunt um, on the other side of the lake because that's where the most prey is. Um, bountiful so yeah they find lots of fish you know near the shoreline in a very secluded area where no person has ever gone yes they actually do have specific places where wildlife is untouched by humans yes and this is where this bold eagle does his hunting yeah I, I um I wouldn't expect any any bird of prey to 
be hunting over here. And as far as I know, the bald eagles are the only raptors of the park. I did see a sign um, that the park put up. And it actually had a picture of a, a juvenile red-tailed hawk on the sign. But I haven't seen such a hawk here. So they're probably not nesting here only because the bald eagles are nesting here. And they don't want to mess with the, the bald eagles, let me tell you. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that. And let's uh, try to observe this bald eagle. By the way, I'm not going to be moving until July 27th. So I'll be able to get another week's worth of recordings in. I thought I was going to leave today. But apparently there's been some delays in the closing of my mom's house so she felt that it would be better if we just wait another week and you can really see something going on and it's coming out of focus for some weird reason oh take a look Let's see do I see something unique about this bald eagle. Now I thought I saw something unique about it. I see this white spot just above the band. Not sure exactly what that is, but maybe it was just the sunlight. I know this bald eagle is not banded. But that's okay. So you can really see those trees swaying and is he going to take off? So I'm all out of digital zoom here. Let's see, is he going to take off? Which way is he going to go? It's alright. Oh, gotta get all the way up there. Yeah, camera's like going out of frame. Probably better if I just zoom out. Be able to get more footage that way. Better footage, anyways. So you can really see this tree swaying in the breeze. Very nice. It's great to be in the shade of these hot temperatures. It really doesn't feel that bad. It really doesn't. But man, there's nobody walking here today. Didn't see any joggers or any bikers, nothing. For some weird reason. Gotta tilt that up sometimes. So this is usually what happens when um, when I end up filming sometimes. But everything's good. Maybe zoom out just a little bit more. Whoops. Meant to do that. There we go. You know, keep in mind that this is digitally zoomed. So it does look 
a little bit more pixelated kind of more or less like a 480 pixel video than a full 1080 pixel video because when you zoom in on the head it looks even more pixelated yeah so I can't really go any further up than that But you can see that the bald eagle closed his beak. Maybe got tired of panting for so long. I imagine they do get used to the heat at some point. But I'm sure they get thirsty. I mean, gosh. For them to stand there for that long and not get a drink of water must be terrible. But as far as I know, um, Sure, he is hunting. I mean, if he's if he hasn't hunted yet, surely the parents have taught him how to hunt. Well, let's just see what this bald eagle does for the last three minutes and forty-one seconds. And then I will call it a day. Bald eagle's just staring straight ahead. Something just seems unusual about that. Or he's trying to save energy because, you know, he doesn't want to get too hungry. Sometimes what they do is they try to stand still because it's kind of like a light sleep. Almost like a light hibernation state. Oh, he's calling, he's calling, he's calling for the parents. So I like to try to look very, very carefully, um, just to see... Now, it doesn't look like this bald eagle has eaten recently. Otherwise, he wouldn't be calling like that. Because that's a begging call that you're hearing right there. Yeah, so... Begging call means that he's hungry. That's all it means. Good to see some calls uh, from this juvenile bald eagle right here. Just gotta tilt this up just a little bit more so that I can get his full head. There we go. All right. Okay, there's really not much time left. Um, that wasn't the... That wasn't the fledgling calling, that was one of the parents. So I know they're nearby, but... Who knows where they are? They aren't on the bear branch. Um, 
So I'll just check tomorrow. And until next time, I'll see you later.